Welcome to demonstration of Vasabi, vascular Doppler recorder, manufactured by Diapoda Care. Our Vasabi can be works with exclusively developed PC-based interfacing software as well as Android devices application too. We proudly announce we are the first company who are introduced Android compatible vascular Doppler recorder in India. Here. We are going to see how to screen ankle brachial index and toe brachial index measurements of a diabetic patients using our Vasabi Doppler. Also we demonstrate here the operating procedure of Vasabi Doppler PC software and how to generate the patient's screening reports. This is the front panel view of Vasabi. Here we can see blood flow sound volume adjustment knob, record switch connector, PPG connector, battery power on or power off toggle switch, 8 MHz ultrasound transducer probe connector and power indication LED. Along with the machine we will provide two different sizes of blood pressure cuffs. Long adult size pressure cuff is for ankle and brachial pressure measurements. Small one of black colored cuff is for toe pressure measurement. Next accessory is the 8 MHz ultrasound transducer probe for trace arteries. This probe will connect with the main unit using given spring cable. This 8 MHz probe is unidirectional transducer with highly enhanced quality. Further two important accessories are foot switch and PPG probe. Here foot switch will be used for recording the traced artery waveform for 3 seconds. PPG probe will be used for acquiring blood flow volume of toe arteries. Due to hard skin surfaces of plantar area PPG is using for tracing toe arteries. PPG probe is powered with infrared LED TX and RX modules. Here we are going to learn about the accessories connections with our Vasabi main unit. First we need to connect the one end of spiral cable into Doppler probe socket in front panel of Vasabi main unit. Then connect the other end to the 8 MHz Doppler transducer probe. Make sure right direction of matching the male and female connectors position in machine end as well as the probe end. After connecting ultrasound probe. We need to connect PPG probe with the main unit. We can find the 5 pin female connector with dent in main unit. During connecting the PPG connector with main unit, make sure the dent of male and female connector should match. Finally, we need to connect record foot switch with the main unit. We can find the 2 pin female connector with dent in main unit that marked as record. During connection make sure the dent of male and female connector should match. Our Vasabi Doppler can be worked with battery power source. Using the battery on off switch we can toggle between main power and battery power. 
Before we start to working with Wasabi Doppler we need to save some one time settings in PC software from settings panel. We are providing all in one unified software for diabetic patient foot lab screening devices that was manufactured by Diapoda Care. First we need to open diabetic foot lab software. You will see a main page view of diabetic foot lab software. Here we need to select Vasabi option from given list of programs then click on go button. Here you will see the patient profile window of Vasabi software. We need to click on settings button that you can see in right top corner of the page. Now the settings panel of Vasabi will open. For the uninterrupted work with Vasabi, user have to save administrator mail ID in administrator contacts option from application settings panel. In this option user have to use Gmail or Yahoo email ID as admin email. After saving administrator email ID, User have to save the communication port number from ports tab. The user have to select the right communication port number from available ports option. Then click on confirm button for hardware communication. In our Vasabi software user can store list of consultants for easy usage. For saving the consultant list user have to go consultant tab for add the consultant name. Consultant specialization even their email. User can save multiple numbers of consultant in this option. Likewise user can store multiple numbers of referral doctors list and technician list. After saving consultant in this video here we are saving sample referral doctor name in referral settings tab. Similarly sample technician addition has explained for demonstrate the technician data manipulation. In our Vasabi software we have the option for customized letterhead. Edit option for patient screening report. User can select multiple image formats for showing hospital logo details in patient report. They can select hospital logo image soft copy file by click on browse button in logo image section. After completing all edit works in report header and logo section user have to select, save and close option for save the modifications that they have done. Open the unified software icon. Here you will see the main page of Diabetic Foot Lab software. After loading of Diabetic Foot Lab software's main page, you will need to select Vasabi option from available list of programs, then click Go button. After loading the patient profile page, user need to select Create Patient option. Then we need to enter patient profile details like name with salutation, patient ID, gender detail of patient, patient type, age and etc. Here fields that marked with red color star are mandatory, other details are optional. From this patient profile page body mass index will automatically calculated after entering patient height and weight details. Height of patient should be in centimeters also the weight should be in kilogram. After completing patient details entry we need to select ABI recording button for ankle brachial index screening. 
or PBI recording button for penile brachial index screening or carotid screening button. User need to make sure the Sabi hardware main unit should be turned on and ready to proceed screening window. Here we are selecting ankle brachial index screening option. Here the ABI screening window has been opened. While clicking on start button, the waveform of trace arteries will be plotted in screening box. Then user need to trace the artery for capturing right wave. The procedure of tracing is shown in next frame of video. During the screening, patient should be in supine position. For tracing the brachial artery for recording and BP measurement, cuff should be tied in arm position as shown in video. After tying the cuff we need to connect the BP dial and cuff bulb with the pressure cuff. After tying the cuff, apply small amount of ultrasound gel for avoid external noise while tracing. Then place the ultrasound probe on the brachial artery and hold it with approximately 45 degree angle of opposite direction of blood flow. After hearing the clear rhythmic blood flow sound, you will see the waveform in software screen as shown in next frame of video. After getting clear waveform we need to inflate the cuff for block the blood flow, then slowly release the cuff pressure. While deflation of cuff pressure you will hear the artery blood flow sound back. After completing BP measurement we need to capture the 3 second sample of waveform by press and release the foot switch. After capturing sample of 3 second waveform software recording indication mark will be automatically changed to next spot of posterior tibial artery. After completing the brachial screening and BP measurement we need to do the same process in posterior tibial position. Keep the patient in supine position for do the entire ankle brachial index test. After successful trace of posterior tibial artery you will hear the blood flow sound of artery as follows. Press and release the record foot switch after confirming the fine trace of posterior to be artery. You can see the recording confirmation of 3 second sample of tibial waveform in software screen. After recording 3 second sample waveform we need to tie the pressure cuff in posterior tibial position as shown in video. Pressure cuff should be placed in slightly below of calf muscle of right leg. Also we need to connect the dial set and cuff bulb. Here we are seeing the demonstration of tie the cuff foot to be a lottery screening. After prepare the posterior BP measurement process, we need to trace the posterior tibial artery and perform the BP measurement process that we have done earlier in brachial position. After finishing posterior tibial screening process, we need to do the screening procedure in dorsalis pedis. Finally we need to do the toe screening and toe BP measurement, not like Doppler screening study. Toe screening is performed by infrared LED toe probe. In toe screening procedure, it will needs the visual observation, not sound.
In toe screening we need to tie the toe cuff at first position before the infrared LED toe probe as shown in video demonstrations. form will be shown like as above video while pressing foot switch the recording of 3 second sample will be in red color after recording here we doing bp measurement in toe pressure procedure we need to observe visual plotting in software screen due to absence of audio output Like all screening of right side, user have to do the same procedure in left brachial, left posterior tibial, left dorsalis pedis and left toe. After completing all the spots recorded, software will show the notification that says all spots are recorded. Then we need to enter the systolic PP values in given corresponding text fields that we have measured previously. After entering all BP values we have to click on save button for storing the whole procedure into database. The ankle brachial screening window will close on successful saving of recording procedure. For viewing the saved visit of screening we need to enter the report window by clicking reports button. After clicking reports button you will see the report window. We need to select the record of required visit from the list of visits. Then we need to click ABI report button for viewing the patient report. We can click on ABI PDF button if we want to export the patient report as PDF file for portability. This is the ankle brachial screening procedure. Like that we can perform penile brachial index procedure for erectile dysfunction due to diabetes. Thank you for watching.